It's been a while since we have presented uh, an opinion on the internet, and uh, everyone always gets upset when we do that. But let me talk to you today about swirl flaps. I've just been removing these off my Land Cruiser, and I was trying to find out you know, more information about what are they supposed to do? Why do people have them and why do people remove them in the first place? A lot of the videos you'll find on YouTube specifically are about how to remove swirl flaps, particularly BMWs. I wanted to talk a little bit about the why. So let me present to you the pros and cons of having these swirl flaps. But first of all, what is a swirl flap? This is normally vacu vacuum or electrically actuated uh, electrically actuated uh, flap system which blocks off half of your inlet manifold intake ports. At high RPMs or the warm engine both ports remain open. This one goes into a straight pipe and this pipe goes into a slightly curved pipe but both end up in the intake valves. When the engine is cold or under light load situations the valve closes and the port which is curved is the only one that can get a good airflow, which means that the air enters the cylinder and spirals down into the combustion chamber. This will give you more complete combustion of the fuel that's being injected into your engine. And that should, in theory, mean more torque, because this was originally invented as a Formula One technology which then made its way into cars. More complete combustion results in more power and more torque at low RPM situations. Now, it also lowers the emissions on your vehicle because again, more complete combustion means that there's less of that uh, carbon, is it carbon monoxide? Definitely nitric oxide, NO, the most harmful chemicals that are produced by diesel engines. Having more complete combustion reduces those chemicals being emitted. Now, people have been removing these for years and why do they do it? Like if it means more torque and it means more complete combustion and it means better emissions, like why are people removing them? Well, I can think of three reasons. And ew, there's petrol dripping out of this because I've been cleaning it. So why do people remove them? Now, first of all, I think people just think swirl flaps bad because they don't have a full understanding of what they are. They are primarily a good thing. So why remove them? They're just a simple system. They, either electricity makes the valves open or close, or in this case, you can actually hear there's a vacuum system will operate this one. When they are fully closed, they create a restriction to power. When they are fully open, they still have a very small restriction to airflow into your engine, and that means a reduction in power. Now, what are we talking here? Uh, 12 inlet ports for six cylinders. Maybe we're talking about a 5% airflow blockage created by each one of these flapperoos. So you could remove that, maybe you'll get 5% 5, 5 more airflow into your engine. Other reason that people remove them is because of the amount of carbon that they accumulate. These ones have been cleaned but you can see that they still have a lot of gunk attached to the swirl flaps. Actually, here's a video of what they were like 10 minutes ago. Sorry. That is the size of the hole. It's got to get around the sides there and through that tiny hole on the right-hand side. Yeah. That is with the swirl flap closed. Yeah. So if you remove them, if they're not there, they can't accumulate carbon and then that can't fall off in chunks into your engine, which you don't want. But the most important reason why people remove them is because they're prone to failure. Especially in later ones where they're made cheaper. I mean, this is, this is all aluminum and steel, this one. So this is constructed quite well. But later ones had a mixture of plastic glued on components. Years of vibration will eventually shatter that plastic and then parts fall off. Or these tiny screws, can you see the screws? There's some screws. They come off. And the plates and the screws, they go into your engine. The main reason for removing this is because it can cause failure and catastrophic damage to your engine. So there it is. That's why we have swirl flaps. They're actually a good thing. They generate more torque and they reduce emissions and they result in more complete combustion so you get better fuel economy. But they restrict airflow very slightly. They accumulate carbon, which can then go into your engine and cause more damage, especially if you have an EGR system enabled. But the main reason is because they will eventually die and parts will go flying into your engine causing catastrophic damage. So thank you for watching. This video can go and join all of the other ones about swirl flaps on the internet. I hope it was useful. Maybe you learned something. I am going to go and remove the rest of these swirl flap bits and then I'm going to put this back in my engine and I'll never worry about it ever again. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Stay safe, make good decisions and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.